The ex is back. She's come back now. What is keeping her attracted to you? That's what we're going to talk about in today's video. Like, share, comment, subscribe. It's going to be good. I'm back again with another X-Files video. Like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're new, so you don't miss any content dropping on the Meister Method YouTube channel. My name's Oli, aka The Meister. This is my method where I talk real authentic game. No lies, no tricks, no gimmicks. I give you that source, that's a je ne sais quoi, so that you can truly start winning this game of love and romance that we play with these. The first question I wanna ask you is, has the issue been fixed? She's come back, but has the issue actually been fixed or is she just missed your no contact phase, but can you see any changes in her? Needy, were the issues on your side or on her side? Have you come to a common ground? Have you actually talked about the issues? Can she still trust you? Because this is a big thing. Or is she plotting to cheat on you, for example? This is a possibility. But ultimately, self-reflection has to take place, especially on your side as the man. It starts and ends with you always. Sometimes another question that you should ask yourself is, do you guys actually need therapy? Maybe you need a counselor to talk you through step by step, especially if you love. Book a session though. If you need a session, bro, you need someone to talk to, book a session. Hey, book a session because it's about your connection and if you have doubts about your connection then what's the point about what's the point getting back together if you're not going to connect on the same level if not better then why you got it's about giving her the opportunity to feel the real or the new you so show but don't tell basically through your mannerisms through your interactions with her can she feel the new you no contact helps you with the reset button when there's space it allows you both time to think about the good things and the bad things and hopefully the positives outweigh the negatives in your situation you toxic and did you allow it to happen or was it a case where you pushed her away and you didn't know what you was doing at the time but now through your period of no contact you've assessed your situation the thing that you must be aware of is if you talk about all the positive changes that you've made in your life. She might use these positives and set unrealistic expectations. And these are things that you won't be able to uphold. So be very careful with how you articulate yourself around her. Your vocabulary can expose you. And unfortunately, it might hold you back as well. So be careful how you key in your mind should be to build attraction again. So be spontaneous, go to new date locations, go salsa. Salsa is always fun, shout out to Wan. Go salsa, date her as if she's a brand new person. Give her a new experience a week, but also pace yourself. You don't want to get carried away. You don't want to rush the process either. So take your time. Remember dating and relationships do not fix us they just expose us to things that we like and we don't like with a certain person so don't think just because you're talking to her regularly again that it means you're getting back together but stay very present in the moment and do not get carried away a good point that i should mention is you have to let go of the past whatever she done to you let go love it enough to let it go and move forward on a clean sheet of paper if you cannot, it's going to affect your communication. If it cannot, it's going to affect your reattraction. It's important to communicate, but it's also important to take um, accountability. Don't blame. Accept the past for what it is and move. Forgive, but never forget. But also forgive, but also have boundaries in place. That's what I would say. Ultimately, I'll leave you with this, bro. If you really want her back and she's back, you have to play on the same team. It can't be you versus her. It's you and her together on the same team. And if you can be persistent and um, trust the process, hopefully everything works out for you guys. As always, keep learning, keep growing, keep leveling up. If you need a session, book it with me. And I'll see you guys in the next one, bro. Peace.